Hello guys and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Way of Life. In the previous episode we claimed this county in here and I have few options now. I can press some weak claims with a duchy of whatever. Okay, that's against the Byzantium, which I cannot really do it. No, we're going to leave it. That's all of them. Okay, that's the that's the claim I can do. Duke of whatever he is. And I can claim Ivera. Where is Ivera? Duchy of Ivera. All the way here. Alright, I could claim that. But claiming a duchy gives me nothing really. I need a I need a county. Claiming a duchy completely gives me completely nothing. Because I'm not a king. And if I claim a duchy for anyone, they become independent. The only thing that will do is that they like me, but that's not enough to warrant anything really. Where is my council members? This guy is supposed to be fabricating claims. And not go to war on any of them. Duchy of Pisa. Duchy of Pisa gives me nothing. Duchy of Spletko gives me nothing as well. I could create them, but it gives me nothing really. On there, the titles may pass from your realm. Theodore of Pisa may pass away. Okay, that's fine. Though I had thought Red Nut to be more reasonable man, his request to be allowed to duel his rival was slightly erratic. Who is Regnard? My counselor. He's counselor of Ancona. Are you even good at fighting? He wants to fight his rival. Which one? Erratic. Regnard claims to be constantly subject of affronts from his rival and asks permission to defend his honor. Which one, which rivals are you going to fight? You have Marshal 8. If you fight this dude, chances are you going to lose, mate. If you fight this dude, chances are you going to win. Well, let's allow it and banish the insig. No, we're not going to banish them. Have your fun, guys. Have a duel. I don't particularly care. As long as you survive, you should be fine. So now our positive income is great. We have another county in our land, so we own quite a bit of land now. If you look at my army, I can pull 3,000 men. And I got another claim. My leech. Okay, so we got a claim on this one. Well done. Good job I allowed you a duel. I'm happy with that. We're going to use it. We have positive gold still. I'm going to move you somewhere. Uh, in a minute, probably. Okay, that's owned by my king, so I can't claim that. That is owned by some random dude, and that is owned by some random dude. And that is owned by nobody. But I think they are dependent to Rome. Let's check it. My country. Who are you loyal to? You are loyal to my king, so if I challenge you, I will be fighting the king. Uh, which I don't want to do. So no. Okay, so let's see. I have this land in here. I could possibly claim that. Let's do it. Move you and start fabricating claim on this one, please. Can I even move you? Not yet, till 16 of April, so you've done your job quickly, but yes. I can start the war on whoever is here. Clear the war and I can claim that. But we have a peace for the next few years, so uh, we are going to do that. We are going to wait it out. But that's okay. So yeah, we are going to wait it out, but uh, good claim, good claim, well done. That will allow us to gather some money and other things in here, and it should go fine. So as I can move him, I will move him and start cl doing claims on this land. Or even I can move him here and claim more. 
So I, then I can press all the claims, and that sounds reasonable. Okay, the Duchess of Whatever has usurped the title from the Duchess of Whatever. Uh, why am I interested in that? Who is she? Okay, she usurped her title. She's also nobody to me. I don't know why I care about it. Duchess of Barband. Duchess of Barband? She is in no way related to me. She's his wife. He's nobody to me. She's nobody to me either. No idea who you are, love, and why do I care? And no idea who you are. Why do I care? Well, that's fine. That's fine. You can absorb the titles. I don't care. They're not my titles, are they? So why should I? Why should I care about it? Look at that. I have a lot of land now. My king in here can pull 9,000 troops. Still. Still 9,000 troops. Which is a ridiculous amount. I will never be able to rebel against him that at this rate. 3,000, 4,000, 4 and a half. Obviously, as I claim more land, eventually I will gain more strength. Country-wise, I could start starting some little war somewhere. Like this land is nobody's. You are... Okay, you belong to Pope, so I can't really take over. I don't want to fight Pope. As expand here, I could start taking over Croatia and stuff, so that's the option as well, kind of connect to Byzantium. We'll see, for now I can, I can just stay there. Collect armies and stuff. Okay, it's now of legal age, my cruel daughter is not that bad actually. Cruel, <laughs> cruel and charitable, so he will beat them with a stick, but she will give them money. Uh, he's hum humble, that's a crazy mix, and envious. <laughs> Just and patient, lovely, she is crazy. And she's battlefield train master, that's lovely. Okay, let's arrange the marriage for you. Basilius of the Byzantium Empire. All right, that would be nice. And yeah, have him. That will. All right, he is actually the emperor. All right, so she's going to marry the emperor himself. Well, go for it, love. Can't get a better marriage than that. Emperor of the Byzantium Empire. If he says yes. And he should, because that's what the tooltip said. He says yes. Alright, oh no, oh no, oh no, we didn't do that stupid thing again, did we? We did. He will be befruf to her, because he's only 13, but well, that's okay. Hopefully I will be able to marry him out, her out. This book hopefully is going to be fixed. There's going to be a lot of book fixes as the game is being updated to a new version, so hopefully that will sort us in here. Okay, the claims I want. None of them are good. I can still claim Byzantium Empire for somebody. For one of my vassals, my friend. Okay, claim the Byzantium Empire for one of my dudes, my steward or my son-in-law. Well, that would be awesome to have a son-in-law as the Byzantium Empire, but a Byzantium Empire would completely destroy me. Okay, are not the best term. The situation is hope to remedy. Okay, he, I invited two people, that's fine. Yeah, so his forces, even though he's a child, 15,000 troops he can pull. But if he could support my independence, 
If you can, that would help us a lot. Okay, King Charles of Middle Francia has inherited the Kingdom of Burgundy. That's fine. Okay, had arrived the greatest time together and I would like to be a better at each other. Okay, so I, because I have this focus here, family focus, my nephew is now the friend with Hilimingis, whoever Hilimingis is. But yeah, that's fine, my, my friend and my family are together. Which is awesome, okay, what sort of fight is here? You are fighting against attacking dukes, whatever of Tuscany. Okay, you have a revolt. That's fine. I don't care about the revolt that much. So I have a few things there. There is a claim I'm waiting for. We're trying trying to fabricate the land. I can move you though. And move it there for now. Claim this land as we go. It's easier to claim from one person and just fight one war over the entire land that he owns than anything else. So if you get a claim on that, I can claim this, then I can claim that from this one guy, and then eventually his capital. I don't really want another duchy though. But I guess if I take the title I can destroy it, I think. Have won the siege. Alright, that's why I got these information about winning sieges and stuff. Because I'm a marshal of my king's land. Am I? Why why do I get information about you? King of Middle Francia. I don't I, I am confused in here. For some reason I get information from the King of Middle Francia about some winning sieges and stuff. And if you know guys, let me know in the comments why I'm getting them, because I'm confused in here. But a part of that I think we're doing quite well, look at that, my land is really big. I have quite a few vassals, I can still have more, so I still have space to expand. And the relationship with this dude are improved, I can move my priest again. Moving somewhere else, just so I can keep improving relationships with people. Hopefully soon I will be able to build something in Ancona. That would help us as well. What can I build and how much it will cost me? Another keep will cost a lot. I would have to have improved keeps level 4, but I don't have anyway. I can't build that either because of technology. So for now I cannot. Castle fortifications, 4th level gives me nothing. I'm not going to be defending, I'm going to be attacking. Germanic infantry barracks would help me again because infantry would get an even bigger bonus to attacks. I'm still not sure if that's the only infantry that gets bonus from this particular barracks or all the infantry. I probably will go for Castle Town next as the game progresses. And we hit the moment we're going to stagnate again because there is not much to do. The other of Pisa will in go somewhere and this guy will go somewhere else as well as he dies. Somebody else might take over. Not great. And if he doesn't have children, uh, which is unlikely because she is quite old, then his land will go over as well. Okay, so can I revoke Pisa? No. I can kill my wife, but I don't want to fabricate a pl plot to claim a Duchy of Tuscany. Do I need a Duchy of Tuscany? Well, I could get it and have this land there. And then I could. Can I destroy the titles? That's the most important thing. Duchy of Ferrara. Alright, I see how, what I can do. If I get this title as my primary, I can revoke the land there, can I? And that will be an option to do. Or I can destroy it. Destroying this title would cost 200 prestige. And will upset all the sure vassals of uh, Duchy of Ferrara will be upset for minus 50. 
That's not bad, I can claim Sienna then. Whatever this claim is, I can get. Duchy of Tuscany. Duchy of Tuscany? Duchy of Tuscany is here. There's your vassals are this one, this one, and this one. If I got a claim, I could destroy that. Ferenza is mine anyway, so it doesn't matter. And only this dude would get upset, and I would grab this land. Let's do it! That sounds like a reasonable thing to do. Will anyone join me in that process? Not many. And particularly nobody really. Well I will leave it I will leave it running. We'll see how it goes for us in the intrigue. Maybe we'll do it eventually. My son in law has a daughter. Good for him. Daughters are useless in this game. Okay, fabricate. Oh, I have options in here. Fabricate the claim. Okay. Plot power is at least 100. 75 and has 3 backers. And this one? 4 backers? Okay. I can't use them, unfortunately. Alright, let's not leave it for now. Let's leave it and let it run and let's. Invite people to our plot. If anyone joins us, that's great. If not, we can do other things in here. What year can I start the war on you guys? Okay, I have a claim. Have a claim. That's awesome. Have a claim. Let's take it immediately. And let's move you up somewhere else. Let's see how it goes for us with the war. If I declare the war on you today, because you are old, if you die I will lose the, all the claims. Four years so I have to wait. So I have to hope that you at the age of 54 will survive four years. That's okay. Because with that I can claim this land. That's fine, that's fine. So you will have to wait for four years, guys, to grab this land, but eventually we'll do it. This cancer is really good. And he's not even married, so I should marry him probably to somebody with a really good counseling as well. Look at this lovely lady, look at that. Also, although she's chaste, but it doesn't matter to me to, for him to have children. Have him. Have him. They will say yes to that, of course, because that's what Tooltip says, and if they get married, they will. his council skill will improve as well. Are they, though? Let's check my council member. No. Okay, because he's not landed. I should possibly land him at some point. I will give him one of these titles here if I claim it. That's fine. So for now, that's it really. We are still being raided by different strange people. I'm still getting information about the King of France. Who is like nobody to me. I don't understand why I'm getting information about him. Did I put him as an interest at some point? Duke Valeran has usurped the title of County of Artosis. It's fine. Good for you, Duke. If I was independent, I could create the kingdom today. Because look at that. Create the kingdom requires me to have a realm size of 35. I have realm size of 58. Okay, it's independent and I would have to have a thousand prestige. So I don't have a thousand prestige yet though. As a personal wealth of 300, I could have that. And hold three duchy titles, I could hold that easily as well. So the only thing I'll have to win is this uh, fight of independence here with this guy. The moment he's my ally, obviously, because he's my, my leech. But if I get him from here, the duke, the emperor, to be my friend, hopefully he can support me in the war when I become independent. And that would help me a lot if I fight against my king. Oh, somebody's looting my land. We're not going to have that. 
How many troops I can raise from here? Thousand men. Send them there. Get them. Okay, we improve opinion of one of the local priests, which is great. Are they going to get on, out on time or not? Unfortunately, yes. Okay, he didn't help really. In here, what are you doing, guys, now? You are raiding somewhere else. Wasn't really my land, but kind of one land of my vassal, so he lost some gold there. We're levy the reinforcing nicely, we have more money. I am starting to think Sh Shigera may like, may fancy me. But I'm zealous. Also kind, and no. It's not appropriate. I would not do it because I'm zealous. If it was a different character, I would go for it. Okay, we started some sort of a war in here. That war may be good for us. Apparently one of the courtiers has been annoying to my wife. And instead of asking me for help, she took the matter in her own hands and made sure the courtier would never annoy her again. Okay, so she got angry with the chancellor. Well, do I lo like my wife? I like... I don't like her, so I wouldn't be that pleased with her, really. Okay. But... But do I like my guy? I like my guy more. I like him quite a bit. And he likes him quite a bit. No. What was she thinking? Silly woman. Okay, so my guy is at war. So that may be actually beneficial to us. Let's see who is inviting. Just a peasant revolt. It's 2,000 men. He will win that easily. Okay, guys. Anyway, in this time at the moment, we're going to finish the episode in here. And I will come back to you in the next episode. For now, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time.